They are Alicia Haley and Camilla Gray, otherwise known as Arr! Hi, I'm Camilla Gray, and we're uh huh her. We sure are. Mm -hmm. Uh huh her. Uh huh yes. If you haven't uh huh heard us, uh huh heard us. What? <laughs> that was that's the first time I've heard that. It was that was clever. I'm yeah. This so, was that first, on the fly? That was on the fly. Or did you think you about that in the night? <laughs> we heard it. We heard it. Actually, we heard a really great reaction from this guy. It was a BBC guy. Yeah. And he said, and it was the biggest compliment ever, he said, this is so 2008. <laughs> yes. How, how are, do your personalities differ from one, one another? How do you balance each other out? Wow. Well, we're we, like, we can be more day. different. <laughs> yeah, we really are. How so? Oh, wow. Probably in every way possible. <laughs> <laughs> we're different in every way possible. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I don't know how we're like, to be honest. We're so, we're so, so astronomically different um, as people in general and just with taste and... No, I think I think we're. I don't even know how we're like. I don't think we are. <laughs> at all. <laughs> I don't even. I'm kind of like bright and happy and kind I'm a little like, brooding and like. Yeah. <laughs> dark and she kind of lightens me up. Mm -hmm. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> Ziggy. Yeah, it's Ziggy for sure. Vintage. Vintage. Dogs. Sushi. Sushi. LA. <laughs> wow. I have to take the fifth on that one. <laughs> That's a tough question. Who's more organized? Well, we have different areas of organization. Cam's a neat freak. I'm neat as well. Don't think I'm, I'm not a slot. I'm not saying that, but Cam's a little OCD. <laughs> um, I'm more organized, I think, in life. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, you know, like I get up really early. Right. Okay. I get a lot of things done. So getting know. up early and then equates I'll to call, organization. I'll, I'll, Cam, I'll call Cam at like four and she'll just be getting up. Oh, but come on. That's things like that. True. That's organization. That's life. <laughs> that's life organizing. Right. Well, maybe you should be a professional life organizer. <laughs> Thanks. Cam and I met, I think the first time was at that kickball game. <laughs> we have friends in common and someone threw a, a kickball game randomly. You were all in black and you were new to town and I remember I seeing you on kickball. third base or something and I was like, who's that girl? And I didn't see you for like another year. Yeah. And then, and then we saw each other at a wedding. I had a couple of cocktails and I was enjoying no. a tambourine. <laughs> and I was like shaking it. She was shaking the tambourine. Yeah. And I was like, wow, that's a talented um, tambourine shaker. Tambourine shaker. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. Saw on the wrist. One really came along, and then I met Cam, and she met me at a party. And yeah, I was shaking a tambourine. Yeah, was. I was like, and I was, I was like, dancing wow. around. She was like, wow. I was like, that's talent right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of how it all began. So, so I just um, been shaking that thing. Really it was, well it was, it was something special, Cam. It really Thank was. So, anyway, I called her up, and I said, hey, do you want to start a band? And she said, hey, sure. And that was it. And I had, I had taken a big break from music, and I, I was waiting to meet somebody that I thought I would click with or who I thought would inspire me. or I don't know, just that person, because I had tried uh, different band things with people, and it never really worked, but had a vibe about Kim. So I called her. I called her the next day, and wow. uh, I was like, hey, you don't we don't really know. We didn't no, know we didn't really know. We were complete strangers, actually, and she called me, and I was like, in her little high voice, I was like, hey, want to start a band? <laughs> Did not sound like that. <laughs> Leading up to being in this band, I was doing kind of a multitude of different projects. I was playing for Kelly Osbourne as her synth player. Um, I was working with Dr. Dre and Buster Rhymes as a session vocalist and just kind of working with various people. And then I ended up in a band called Melodrone. I was with them for about a year and a half as their bass player and synth player. And then when that ended, this began. I had only been in one band previous to this one. It, um, we were called The Murmurs, and it was in the, the early 90s, really. It was lasted about 10 years, but our little heyday was in the early 90s. Absolutely, it was like, okay, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be a piano player. I'm going to play backwards like him and everything. She does. And I, think, and I do. And so from then on, I just was kind of really serious about it and actually kind of decent at it. So I kind of went with it. Good yeah. decision. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Um, wow, I did that. <laughs> I like pencil skirts. I'm really fond of them. Teacher. I have a teacher thing.
you like to be the teacher or the student? I love to be the teacher. And what about you? I don't know. <laughs> it's Cam's favorite uh, movie. Yes. <laughs> um, I love Zac Efron. He's very, very hot. Very attractive. He is. Uh, how old is he? Ten. <laughs> video. This video is going to explain to you on how we're going to enter and exit the tunnel, as well as hand signals, which I want to be able to use to communicate. <laughs> and we're all familiar with that hand signal, right? So let's get you suited up right now, and we are flying in no time. It's just as if a princess puts me out of my Yeah, I'm scared to get and here we are. Ready? And I'm just going to talk to you guys a little bit about, briefly, what you've been doing on the road, because I know that most musicians come back very traumatized. It was hard. It was trying. We were playing, what, four shows, five shows a week? Uh-huh, five Which shows Which we've never week. done. Mm -hmm. um, so that There's was interesting. There's this thing, it's like a struggle. I don't mm -hmm. know if you're familiar with that. When your fans were showing up to the shows, um, <laughs> what about... You, what communication did you give them? Like you were giving them something and they were giving something back to you. Right. Exactly how did you make that exchange and why? <laughs> Rock position, shot ground ball. Today I'd like to talk to you about football and safety. When you're playing catch, throw gently. Don't beam the ball at somebody, or else you can get a welt like this. So throw the ball with love, care, compassion. Music for the independent mind. Not the whole thing, the whole Oh, <laughs> this whole thing. <laughs> Hi, this is Camilla from Aha uh -huh. no. on W yeah. What? Hi, Hi this, this is Aha uh -huh. Her. On W E R S. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is Aha uh -huh. Her. Listen to W E R S this week to hear me perform me. Us. Us. Hi, this is Aha uh -huh. Her. Listen to W E R S this week to hear us perform as part of Live Music Week. For more <laughs> This is Aha uh -huh. Her. And you're listening to WERS 88.9 FM, music for the independent mind. Mm -hmm. 